Hello there, my name is Chris Dangerfield from UK Bump Keys and I'm going to make a short video about the Brockage pit gun. It's weird, I've been using these things for decades and I've never made a video about them, which is weird because they're kind of staple part of any decent lock pickers kit. You might have an electric pit gun, which is great, they're superb, but I think we've all been there when you get your electric pit gun out and the battery has died, you haven't charged it. Uh, or it's just it's just died on you that's not going to happen with one of these there's plenty of pit guns on the market the brockage one is however does have a lifetime warranty and in all the time i've sold these and i've sold thousands i think one person had a problem sent it back to brockage they repaired it and sent it back to him no problem at all what you're going to get with this you're going to get the unit you're going to get a selection of needles there's this weird bent one which I've literally never ever used. There's an e there's like a lengthened straight one, and then there's two of these. You get a duplicate of this one. It's the one I use the most. It's a pretty simple bit of kit really. You pull the trigger, and the needle flicks. There's a little wheel here so you can get less or more flick, but. I mean, there's no real science to it. If you're not having much joy with the lock, mess around with that, less or more might help you. So I've got a couple of locks here and I'm gonna show you. You also get this kind of basic tension wrench. One end is quite thick, probably more for American locks, and one is quite thin, which works fine for Europe. This gun flicks upwards. Uh, in, in the UK and in Europe, locks tend to be set this way up. In the States, they tend to be set this way up. You can get a brockage pit gun where the needle files down, which makes picking locks set that way up easier. However, I've usually had no problem just holding the gun upside down and, and, and doing it like that. But it's kind of nice to have the option. So I'm just gonna take you through a couple of locks and show you how this thing works. So wrench goes in. What I usually do, as with something like raking and bumping to an extent, and the technique really is, is kind of a similar science, I suppose, to bumping. I'm not going to just put pressure on it, so I'm going to pulse it. I'm going to sort of keep adding tension like that. So the needle goes in. Now if you look along the top of the lock, I mean you're not going to be able to see this if it's in a door. There's six pins in this lock and I can see that to get all of those, that needle's gonna have to go in about that far. I've seen people stick them in like that, and that just negatively affects the, the, the tool's ability to flick. So you, you can roughly work out it needs to be about there. So, bit of pulsing on the wrench, and then we pull the trigger. I would have, there you go. And that's that done open. I would have done this in a vice or in a door, it's even better, but very hard to show you what I'm doing when you've got a limited angle. Here's another lock. That's clearly locked. It's a bit tight getting that in there. And so same again. Put it in. Make sure that you make sure that the pin that the the pit gun the, the needle can move make sure the wards aren't stopping it i've seen people have it at such a weird angle that the flick is not is not going to be hitting the pins it's just smashing into the walls and what you'll end up doing is snapping your needle so make sure that there's free movement in there so that it can hit the uh, pins which is the trick and there you go That's what I'd need there, just because that hasn't gone all the way round. I can probably take that out and use the pick gun to move those pins out of the way and continue the, sorry, you didn't see that, and continue the turn. One more. wrench goes in and then same again just make sure that the pins the the needle is hitting the pins pulse the tension wrench
Now I'm feeling I'm not getting much joy there, so I'm gonna mess around with this. Like I said, I'll make it a bit lower. Jesus. I'm going to try the other end because there was some kind of dust coming out of there. Maybe it hasn't been used in a couple of decades. Change that again. And there you go. And that's locking up again, but for the same reason, I can just use that to get that turn. What happens is when you're turning it, the pins are falling down into the keyway. That's why it won't turn all the way, but no problem. There you go, the Brockage Pit Gun, an underrated yet superb piece of kit. I've been Chris from UK Bump Keys. Get yourself a Brockage Pit Gun, they're awesome.